Hey, what's up you guys? Sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. I've been really busy with some freelance stuff. Um, the stuff that I was talking about in my previous video. So that's been taking up a lot of time. But today I want to do a quick tutorial on implementing AdMob ads into an app. So a lot of people that I talk to, one of the first things they want to do when they get an app or a template is integrate ads so they can start making money from it. And surprisingly, a lot of people don't know how to do this and they think it's hard, but it's actually a really quick process, probably about 10 minutes. So I'll show everyone how to do this and um, hopefully it'll help a lot of people. Uh, sorry, my laptop's unplugged. Um, help a lot of people get their ads into their apps without having to pay anybody to do it. So you'll need a Mac or a Windows computer running a Mac virtual machine to do this. Um, so I'm assuming you guys have that if you're watching this. So let's create a new Xcode project. Do a little single view. I'll call this add demo. Uh, okay, next, create it. All right, we just have the basic project going now. Um, okay, make sure that's still working. Earlier it crashed on me. Uh, so let's search up integrate add mob swift and then you just go to this right here and then go to get started so we can start from the top. Is this having a problem? Computer's overheating a little bit. Um, so Anyway, the first thing you need to do is get the library into your app. And we'll be able to do this using CocoaPods, which is a way to just bring libraries into your app very easily without having to copy stuff into there manually. It just makes everything really clean and uh, you can keep track of stuff really easily this way. So if you don't have CocoaPods on your computer, just search up CocoaPods into Google real quick and follow CocoaPods tutorial so you can install that tool on your computer and you can do this. It's really easy, it should only take five or 10 minutes. So once you have CocoaPods on your computer, you wanna open the terminal up. All right, it's still going. Um, it might seem a little scary to be in the terminal, but it's actually not that hard. Uh, all you have to do is CD this will change depending on how your directories are on your computer, but mine is just going to be Joey Chung document development. And then I call this like, uh, what did I call it? I forget already. Add demo. And if you have a space in your name, you want to have a single quote on both sides of it so the space doesn't mess up the directory. So now I'm in the add demo folder. Uh, this was basically just to get to the location that the project is at. So you just want to find the entire directory path that um, your project is located at and type it in there with CD. So next, I can just show this is all the stuff in my project. Then I want to run pod init, which creates a new pod uh, project, I guess. So you can see pod file there. And then let's close this real quick. If I open up add demo, we'll have this pod file here. So you wanna open that up. This is where you're going to add the pods, like right under here. So add a couple spaces, go back here, copy this line, go into the text editor, and then just paste that, save it, and then you can just close it after that. So now we have the text in there and we just have to install the library. So you wanna just run pod install on the same directory we were just on. And this will install everything for you. All right, that was fast. Now you can close terminal because everything's all set with that. And we can 
open up the project again. So see now, when I open up the add demo folder, it's not only this blue icon, but there's also this white one. You never want to open the blue one anymore. Only open the white one, which is the .xcode workspace, because that's the only one where you'll be able to use all the different pod stuff that you have. So open that up. Is it still running? Okay. Open up add demo. And then at that point, let's go to the main storyboard. So right now, all right, here we are. So we've done all this pod stuff. The next step is to initialize it. So we're going to copy this, go to appdelegate.swift. Under the did finish launching with options function, we're going to paste that here. And then don't forget to import Google mobile ads. So it can recognize all this stuff. And then when it's your actual app, you want to put your ad mob ID right here. For me, since I'm just doing a demo, I'm going to copy this demo one they have and then just do some testing with that. So that's done. And now you can choose which format you want. There's the reward videos, the native, the interstitial, the banner. Today, I'm just going to go with banner because it's the simplest and most people know what it is. Uh, they're all really easy to do. There's just some different instructions. Um, not necessarily harder, but just different. So let's go to the banner. And with this tutorial on AdMob, it shows how to do it programmatically, but I'm going to show, it how, show how to do it with storyboards on this video because I think that's a lot easier and a lot cleaner than having all this constraint code and stuff. So let's get into the app. Go to your main.storyboard. And at this point, search view here. Okay, we're still running. All right, so after you search view, you want to scroll all the way down until you find this. It's just called a view, and then drag it onto here. And we're going to make this the entire width and then make the height 50. Awesome. And now click on here and then control click and then just go to view, do leading space, trailing space, and then control click on view to itself, do height so it stays the same height no matter what phone it's on. And then at that point, go from your view to the main view and do bottom space to safe area. So now this banner will be correct on all phones now that we've set the constraints. So now click on the view again and inside the identity inspector right here, you want to go to class and then type in GAD banner view. So now it's a banner view instead of just a normal UI view. So at that point you want to close both of these and Open up this double circle one so you can have two views open. And then you want to click on your view and then control drag into the uh, code here. Just call this banner view. You can call it whatever you want. So now we can access the banner view in our code. And don't forget to also import Google mobile ads here so it knows what this is. So this should go away. There we go. And now go back to the view controller and we can do anything we want with this. So now you can skip all of this because this is basically what we did except in code. So now once you get to the configure part, you want to copy this and then paste it in the view did load. Awesome, and you're going to want to replace this with your own personal one if you are releasing a live app. And then there's loading an app, and that is basically it. That's the last thing you have to do. So at this point, we should be able to run it. Okay, it's still going. Let me see if I can try to run it on my phone. I gotta just switch this because my phone is an old version. 
Let's see if I can do it. It might cause the computer to have problems. All right. We're just loading it up now. All right, it succeeded. Hopefully this won't freeze up on me. All right, so we have, I don't know if you guys can see, pretty bright. All right, it's having a little problem. There we go. All right, so now you see we have a banner there and everything is working. Oh, Siri. We have a banner right here and then that is all. And that concludes this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I wanna be doing more tutorials like this for some like hands-on experience for you guys. Um, but hopefully you like the format of it. Uh, if you haven't checked out my free Amazon ebook, definitely download that. The link is in the description. Uh, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.